So this chess scandal has gotten really interesting. Uh, there's the chess champion of the world, Magnus Carlsen. You, you might actually recognize him. There's a weird phenomenon where chess became super popular on Twitch. That just really surprised me. I mean, it's not something you would expect, but... So him and a few of the other really famous chess players are pretty popular on Twitch. People say he's maybe the best chess player of all time. I mean, the, he's apparently just insanely good at chess. So what happened was on September 4th, 19-year-old Hans Niemann beat Magnus at a chess tournament, which ended Magnus's 53-match winning streak. Holy fuck. That guy's a beast. Yeah. I don't think, have you ever won 53 of anything? Let alone in a row? Nah. Maybe Super Smash, that's it. Super Smash? Yeah. 53 in a row, you think? Yeah, yeah. So, um, Hans, the guy that beat him, is only 19 years old. He exploded onto the chess scene in the last few years when his e professional chess rating, known as ELO, rapidly climbed into the almost 2700 range. For comparison, Magnus's rating is 2861. So... That's way up there. Mm -hmm. um, the next day after Magnus lost, okay, he tweeted out this. He said, I've withdrawn from the tournament. I've always enjoyed playing in this tournament, and I hope to be back in the future. Kind of cryptic, not exactly accusatory or anything, but it's like, why did he withdraw well, that Look at the video that he tweeted with it. Mm -hmm. That's what really drives it home. Oh. I prefer really not to, um, not to speak. If I speak, I am in, in big trouble. In big trouble. And I don't want to be in big trouble. <laughs> That's the, I, man, I need the access to that clip. <laughs> <laughs> like, how many times would that clip have helped me, Zach? Can you pull that? I need yeah, that yeah. guy. I need that up. guy on my shoulder like the little angel. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and then we need a little devil, too. Soundbite. <laughs> Shia LaBeouf just going, just do it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, super cryptic. It seems like he's alluding to some kind of funny business, right? Right. He had just lost to this kid. So it seems pretty clearly something about that. And I guess just to, because the story's got a lot of twists as we're about to find out, but when this happened, he was getting a lot of heat for this because the perception was that he was just being a bad sport that he lost to somebody you know a young up-and-coming player and um that he couldn't handle it and then he was like you know throwing a tantrum essentially well yeah at the I, time that's what people and i mean thought. Th throughout the scandal it's basically been i've seen a lot of people on both sides being like dude you're obviously just a sore loser or this dude's obvious this dude's plays fishy um the thing that's so weird about it is, like, you're sitting physically in person right there across the table. I mean, it's hard to conceive of a way where he could have cheated <laughs> and, and, and it not be super obvious, right? That's the part that's, like, it just seems so far-fetched. So he puts out that statement. The next day on the tournament's live stream, Hans admitted that he'd cheated twice in online matches in the past, but claimed he'd never cheat in an in-person tournament. So this is interesting. And, and, and uh, I think I'm the only one who knows the truth. So. so I think this, everyone was like, yo, what the fuck? Everyone knew what uh, Magnus was saying. And so this is him kind of responding to the accusations. So there's a few things that, that need to come to light. So first of all, there's the, the situation with chess.com. Now, people have, uh, there have said that my chess.com was, was banned twice. Okay. <laughs> So this is what happened. When I was 12 years old, I was uh, uh, with a friend, and I was playing Tuttle Tuesday. And uh, I was playing, and he came over on an iPad with an engine, and I, I was 12 years old, and he said, you know, uh, uh, he started giving the moves. I was a child. I had no idea what happened. Now, this happened once in, in, in an online tournament. I was just a child. And nothing happened then. Now, four years later, when I was 16 years old during my streaming career, in an absolutely ridiculous mistake, in unrated games, 
After that, I had another one I was 12. I have never, ever in my life cheated in an over-the-board game, in an online tournament. They were in unrated games. And I'm admitting this, and, and, and I'm saying my truth because I do not want any misrepresentation. I am proud of myself that I learned from that mistake and now have given everything to chess. I have sacrificed <coughs> everything for chess, and I do everything I can to prove. So I'm, I'm going to get started. Basically, so, in some... So he put out this statement, it actually didn't help at all. Everyone was just like, once a cheater, always a cheater. Basically. Uh, I feel like it, it hurt him. I was seeing a lot, there were a lot of people that thought this was big of him to, to own up to whatever cheating that he did do in the past. Well, obviously cheating at 12 is like, no, like, stupid, silly. Right. Apparently when he was 16, he got caught by the website. I, this, I don't know, that, this website is so serious, chess.com. I don't know how they can possibly figure it out. These people are so smart that they have ways of catching people who are playing too good. Uh, yeah, well, I've been reading a lot about it, and this, spoiler alert a little bit to this story, but uh, they released a 72-page report uh, yesterday? Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, uh, going into great detail about how many times he cheated, how he cheated. And yeah, apparently, not only do they use like computer models to see how much your moves correlate to like what a computer's advised uh, move would be, but they also track like your, um, your clicking on the screen and like changing tabs and stuff. Hmm. So say you have like one of these AI chess engines open in a second tab, they can see that you're going somewhere else um, and then coming back and then making a move. And I guess over enough time, they can kind of correlate that and make a pretty educated guess of what you're doing. The one analysis I saw that was really interesting is like, they track, like a computer knows what's the perfect move in every situation. Mm -hmm. And so they can track like what percentage of your plays were perfect computer simulated plays. Mm -hmm. And apparently Magnus has like 70% um, Averaged across Yeah, games, average right? And some games he'll have 100% Like it happens And apparently this kid Has been having like Way too many 100% Perfect match games That statistically it Is almost impossible So chess.com As Dan was saying Issued a statement saying they had banned him from the website and that his history of cheating was much more than he let on. And they sent him evidence of this. Dear chess community, the last few days have been tumultuous for many in the chess community. At this time, we have reached out to Hans Neiman to explain our decision to privately remove him from chess.com and in our events. We have shared detailed evidence with him concerning our decision, including information that contradicts his statements regarding the amount and seriousness of his cheating on chess.com. We have invited Hans to provide an explanation and response with the hope of finding a resolution where Hans can gain, uh, again, uh, again participate on chess.com. We want nothing more than to see the best chess players in the world succeed in the greatest events. We will always try to protect the integrity of the game that we love. Apparently, this chess.com is actually a big deal. It's where all the pros play. Yeah. Super well uh, uh, regarded. Pretty incredible that they're able to build such a reputable and vibrant community a few so moving on a few weeks later neiman and carlson had a rematch in an online tournament and after one move carlson quit the game so he basically uh, got mashed up and he just resigned he refused to play him yep 2700 talented kid and the rise couldn't produce uh, he got a good position against Magnus. It was a very, very good game. It was probably an inspired game, you could call it. But is it an obvious proof of cheating? Definitely not. I don't think he cheated in the Singfield Cup, but everything else oh, is still sorry, in Alejandro. the air. Sorry, Alejandro. I just have to interrupt you uh, because the game started um, and Magnus has logged off. What has happened? Magnus has resigned. Magnus. So he played a move. Why did he bother even playing a move, I wonder? You know what I mean? Or did he not? I mean, I think it was just an impulse thing. He was probably yeah. just like, you know what, fuck this. Well, he's right. If he thinks he's cheating, that's the right thing to do. It's like, you know. So that's interesting. Uh, even though he forfeit this game, Carlson went on to win this tournament. What a G. 
even after refusing to play Neiman. Damn. Daddy, Daddy Magnus. He's pretty good. So on Monday, Carlson finally put out a statement, long-awaited, highly anticipated. Here he said, my statement regarding the last few weeks. 200,000 likes, so people are paying attention here. Dear Chess World, at the 2022 uh, Sinkfield Cup, I made the unprecedented professional decision to withdraw from the tournament after my round three game against Hans Niemann. A week later, during the Champions Chess Tour, I resigned again against Hans Niemann after playing only one move. I know that my actions have frustrated many in the chess community. I'm frustrated. I want to play chess. I want to continue to play chess at the highest level in the best events. I believe that cheating in chess is a big deal and the existential threat to the game. I also believe that chess organizers and all those who care about the sanctity of the game we love should consider increasing security measures and methods of cheat detection for over the board chess. When Neiman was invited last minute to the 2022 Sinkfield Cup, I strongly consider withdrawing prior to the event. I ultimately chose to play. I believe that Neiman has cheated more and more recently than he has publicly admitted. His over the board progress has been unusual and throughout our game in the uh, Sinkfield Cup, I had the impression that he wasn't tense or even fully concentrating on the game in critical positions while outplaying me as black in a way I I think only a handful of players can do. This game contributed to changing my perspective. So when I first read this, because this is developing from when I first read this, I was like, there's a good chance he's just being a sore loser. It kind of comes across that way. Because it's like, that's it? Yeah. That his game improved too much and he was playing too good and not paying attention? It seems salty when when taken at surface level. I agree. My, my, yeah, so that that was kind of my impression. I was like, whoa, dude, you might just be being a, kind of a loser here. We must do something about cheating, and for my part going forward, I don't want to play against people that have cheated repeatedly in the past because I don't know what they are capable of doing in the future. There's more I would like to say. Unfortunately, at this time, I'm limited in what I can say without explicit permission from Neiman to speak openly, a.k.a. he's promising not to sue me for defamation, which, of course, right. <laughs> So far, I have only, even if I was innocent, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be like, go ahead and say whatever you want about me. Uh, yeah, so it's far, a weird statement. <laughs> yeah. So far, I've only been able to speak with my actions, and those actions have stated clearly that I'm not willing to play chess with Neiman. I hope that the truth on this matter comes out, whatever it may be. So there it is. Mixed reaction to that, but I think a lot of people were like, dude, you're just being a bad sport. Like he had a lot of here's, support. And here's one of the top comments. Your yeah. whole point is that Neiman's progress expeditiously over the board, and you presume that he cheated. This is preposterous. More than a month, you wait to tell the obvious. We expected more from you, like solid proof on the cheated. So actually, Magnus put his kind of neck, his reputation and neck out, and uh, a lot of people were very, very angry at him. And as this story develops, it gets a lot more interesting, actually. Um, even though yada yada so what's with all the anal bead memes it started off as an offhand comment from the chat but it really exploded uh, so here's the latest update Wall Street Journal, Journal article and this one just came out this is super fucking interesting you guys when was this uh, published? It was like yesterday? I think it was yesterday. Check out this headline. Chess investigation finds that the U.S. Grandmaster likely cheated more than a hundred times. Oops. And that's what Magnus said. Yeah. He's like, this guy's been cheating. An internal report reviewed by the Wall Street Journal alleges a previously unknown pattern of likely widespread cheating by Hans Neiman, the player whose September victory over Magnus Carlsen has rocked the chess world. Wow, this is crazy now. Um, What it alleges, it's a 72-page report, so this is pretty serious. I mean, it was practically written by Dream, and his mathematician is so serious. (laughs) It does have echoes of that, doesn't it? Actually, Chess.com released a 72-page report. Yeah, that's who made this. Oh, Wall Street Journal is just reporting on it. Oh, Chess.com, then it's real. 
It's 14 pages. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's even more than that. Meticulous. It's 14 page meticulously argued document. So I think the people at chess.com analyze his play like they would if it was on his sis on their system. They use a variety of cheat detection tools, including. Oh, it was on their system. Just to be clear, they're not making any. There is, still is no verdict on the in person cheating. Mm. This is purely about his play online. And that, remember in that clip, he said, I've cheated twice in my life. It was both in online tournaments or whatever when I was 12 and I was 16. And they're saying, Bitch, you've been cheating. They cheated a hundred. He's a serial cheater. He's a serial cheater. Which was not public until now, basically. Right. And, you know, this dude is fucking caught. That's all I got to say. Here, over the board strength improvement from age 11 to age 19. Now, this is really interesting. Here you can see strength improvement. Here's all the best chess players. Yeah, these the are world. all like grandmasters over the years. I mean, this is Bobby Fischer at the top. Magnus here. So you can see they're over the board. It's like fairly, uh you know, linear, all makes sense. And then here's Hans Niemann's, which out, it, it, it eclipses even the greatest chess players of all time the yeah. by a lot. If he wasn't cheating, they would be, he would be potentially one of the best of all time. It seems like by far the best of all time based right. on this. So that's super suspicious. And uh, I would never and could never fathom doing it in a real game, he says. So check this out. Overall, we have found that Hans has likely cheated in more than 100 online chess games, including several prize money events. What a piece of shit. He was already 17 when he likely cheated in some of these matches and games. He was also streaming in 25 of these games. Bro. So they have the date and uh, number of games in the event and number of games likely cheated. All of them. Wow. Or this one's half. That's crazy. So in all the games, they detected he was likely cheating. With prize money on the line? Dude. Bless you. What's crazy about this report, too, is not only did this expose this guy, but they kind of they kind of say it in passing in the in the article, but apparently there's a number of people in like the top 100 rating on this website that they've caught cheating as well. So why didn't they ban them? I thought they banned people. Well, they do, but they do it quietly. Um, which this has started a whole discussion in the chess community of like, basically, should this be talked about a lot more openly? Because it's going to only become more and more of a problem. We're at the point where computers can like, they, they blow away the best chess players in the world. Like, they will win... 100 out of 100 times against the best player. They play perfect now. They know the perfect player. Yeah. And so at this point, for this to continue to be, you know, a, sp a sport or a game that's played competitively, um, they need to crack down on this shit big time because it it's very easy to cheat. <clears throat> they said uh, the report was prompted after Carlson's action at the uh, Sinkfield Cup prompted them to reassess Neiman's behavior. Uh, Carlson didn't talk with, ask for, or directly influence Chess.com's decision at all. I think what this really says, and they, they go on to say that, you know, Chess.com has the best cheat detection in the world. Dude, it just goes to show you that how, what a genius this dude is. He just fucking knew his ass was cheating just from playing with him. And could just feel it. How unlikely his play was, how shit was off. And he could probably tell this stuff intuitively, you know, without crunching the statistics that, like, his improvement didn't make sense, his play didn't make sense. And, uh, just seems like this dude actually is a fucking cheater. Isn't that insane? Yeah, again, there's, there's still no, he hasn't been still caught in person, so there, and that was the one, it was in person that started all of this, that Magnus played a game with him in person and felt like he was cheating. Um, so there isn't really a verdict on that still. Maybe it was the but anal beads, like as you said. A, as a serial cheater, I'm pretty much 100% on Magnus's uh, side. And maybe it was anal beads. Maybe it was one of those. Some They actually sell those, I think, at like, at their, you can buy those from, like, <laughs> you know, corner shops. Yeah. 
Vibrating anal beads. If it was me, you know, I'd probably put it in my shoe or something like that. He, by the way, I know how he cheated. I just figured it out. Oh, really? I just fucking figured it out, and I'll show you exactly how he did. <laughs> All right. Wait, hold more. on, hold on. Where could that guy hide a piece, a small piece of equipment that vibrates? Hmm. Where was that? What, that isn't up his ass? It's not up his ass. Okay. In his mouth? Not in his mouth. In his hair? His fucking hair, bro. Oh, this guy yeah. has in, <laughs> un, this guy has unreasonably big hair. It's suspicious. It's oh, suspicious. I have big hair too. Yeah, 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 that yeah. Dude, sorely needs a haircut, and he's not. His Ooh, hair is so fucking big, he could easily put a little sensor on the top of his dome that vibrates, and nobody would look in his hair. By the way, this is super interesting. Here he is walking through a security at the U.S. Chess Championship. Let's see what this is like. Wait, this is from four hours ago. We were forfeited. Here, we're a little bit more five minutes, ten minutes. He looks nervous. He looks nervous. <laughs> yeah. That dude looked nervous. He looks like he's got something up his ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like super tense, man. He looks like when you Holy give... Oh. Look, look how he's standing! <laughs> Yo, he does! <laughs> dude, he's got it up his ass! Uh, oh, that man! It's like he's when the cat's looking at your fake ID. Yes! Because... Oh, this guy's doing a metal detector, so let's see what areas he avoids. Let's see if he goes over his head. That's very thorough. Very or thorough. if he touches the butthole. He's puckered oh, up, man. He's ready to go. He's puckered up. Look at him, dude. He's flexing. You're so right, Zach. And that is an interesting skill. He looks super uncomfy. Yeah, he can't breathe. <laughs> well, he knows he's on he's camera. He's taking one breath in, and he's holding it if, this if, whole time. If he coughs, it's game over. <laughs> yeah. You know, you know what's suspicious to me is that he yawned. Every time I've seen someone trying to, yeah. you know, pass off like they're not nervous, I always see a fake yawn. Actually, yawning is a symptom of anxiety. It's kind of crazy. I, when I had a ton of anxiety, mm -hmm. I could not stop yawning. Yeah. It's crazy. I so didn't know that. It, it actually is a is a, a <laughs> real. A, I feel really bad thing. then because yeah. I used I used to make fun of my cousin so much. Every time we were around a girl, he go. <sighs> I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why do you always <laughs> do that? So now knowing that it, it's anxiety and dude. Rip. Yeah. Yeah, you're a dick, bro. Uh, it's okay. It's cousin Tim. <laughs> oh, it's Tim. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Miss him. <laughs> yeah. Rip. Yeah, but like to avoid the metal detector, you probably have to put it in there pretty deep. Dude, he's fucking erect. You think he's chubbed up? No. No, like, it's like the way he's standing. The way he's standing. <laughs> Looking like a fucking <laughs> pencil, dude. <laughs> Jesus. So Christ. let's see. Yeah, let's I see how. Ask him about it. it looks like it's this is super serious, of, actually, what they're doing. Settings. More than I thought it would be. All right. So he does the face. But what is was interesting? He didn't do the top of the head. During the technical meeting, that no matter what, the time will start. Yes. So the dude, he's nervous. I'm gonna mute it. Dude, he looks super nervous. Checking the jacket. Yeah, he did not <gasps> check the top of his head. It's in his fucking hair. Oh, he, he scanned his ass. He scanned the ass. Yeah, he scanned his butthole. Get did it he, in there. Did he? No. Oh. I mean, he passed by it. Okay, he did not <gasps> check. Look, look, look at him. Look at his face. Go back. He's like, yo. Oh, he's like, I, <laughs> I made it. For real. It's in his hair. I'm like almost certain of it. That's the only place he didn't scan. Mm. And I bet you they reviewed a bunch of footage of how they scan. And decided where's the best place to hide it. It'd be pretty fucking bold for him to try and do it when he's under such a microscope right now. Wait, this just happened? It said four hours ago this clip came from. The clip was made four hours ago. In oh, okay. Fair yeah. enough. Well, what, what's the could, event? You can look up if it's happening right now. Yeah, it could, it could US be. US Chess Open? Is that what it said? Yeah. US Chess, chess Championship. Championship. This is such a great clip that this exists. It's so good. All the faces he makes after he walks. Past yeah, it's live right now. So good. It's live right now. So that's I'm pretty sure this clip so is Dan, from today. That should tell you. <gasps> Someone should check his hair now. Go check that man's hair. If somebody is watching at the event. Look, the go pat that dome. Yeah, pat that dome. The chance is. Like, What's up, pal? Mm hmm. N Noogie. Yeah. <laughs> the chances that he's cheating now <laughs> are probably pretty low. But even. With all these crazy accusations, the guy checking still didn't check his hair. But he can't just start losing now. That'll look even worse. Well, I think he's a good chess player, but just not. But is that he a hun a hundo percent good without the no. computer? I hope he loses a bunch. Wow, can we watch him play somewhere on Twitch right now? Someone uh, go check that man's hair. I'm dead serious. I'm watching the event. It looks like he's not playing right now. 
He's yeah. probably watching us and going to the bathroom and dumping his <laughs> tracker. Yo, yeah, he's got to shave his head if he wants to play in further <laughs> tournaments. Get him on Jeff's barbershop, too. Yeah. yeah. Just buzz him. Someone said, by the way, he won today. Not anymore. I Did he? Interesting. Well, hold on. Maybe I can rewind the VOD a little bit and find his game. It's not letting me rewind. Uh, I found a YouTube version. Ooh. Pass it. W. Dan. Let's analyze his but oh. Wait, here is, wait um... Too. Hold on. Here's a clip from, from earlier today. Turns out, maybe it wasn't... Oh, no. What are we gonna do? About this...